back. On this segment, Chef Keone and I are going to make local style beef stew. The ingredients for the beef stew are of course beef. We have celery, onions, carrots, potatoes, some great tomato product, a little salt and pepper, and some bay leaves. Now I have a heavy gauge pot that's been preheating. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of vegetable oil in just to lightly coat the bottom. And then we're gonna sear the meat. And what's really important is that you're searing the meat in single layers. If you overcrowd the pan, what will happen is you won't get the caramelization you want. And that caramelization is really good for flavor. Okay, so our meat is now browned and I'm adding onions right into the pan. And I'm gonna cook the onions in the residual oil that's left. And I really, I wanna caramelize the onions, get them a little translucent and then caramelize them. Once the onions are caramelized, we're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste and let that caramelize. And then we're gonna finish off with flour to sort of create a quick roux. And then we're gonna uh, go with the process of putting the rest of the stew together. Onions are nicely caramelized. We're gonna put tomato paste in here now. And I'm going to cook the tomato paste a little bit to try to get the sugar that's in the paste to caramelize a little. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna add flour. I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of flour in here and whatever's left of the oil is gonna mix with the flour and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a quick roux and that's gonna help thicken the stew and give it some body. And explain roux. Roux is a French term for a thickening agent. It's typically flour and butter that's cooked, uh, but in this case we're using oil as the fat. Okay, so now we're gonna add the beef back into the pot. That looks great. Oops. We had a jumper there. <laughs> and then we'll season it with salt and pepper. Uh, yeah. Put some salt. Then we'll add water just to cover. Go ahead. Keep going a little bit more. Just to cover the beef. A little bit more. Perfect. And we'll bring it to a boil. And then we'll bring it down to medium or low and simmer it for two hours. So you're cooking this for two hours and what you're trying to do is get the flavor out but also tenderize the beef. An easy way to make sure that the beef is done is to pierce it with a fork and if the meat is tender, then you're good to go. So our stew's been simmering for a solid two hours and the pieces are nice and fork tender. The next step is to add our vegetables. I have potatoes that are gonna go in. We have carrots, we have uh, celery that's going to go in here, and then we are going to add our final ingredient, which is our tomato product. So we have tomato sauce that's going in here, Let me get all this out. So you have tomato paste, you have tomato sauce, and you have stewed tomatoes. Correct. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of tomatoes in this dish. I have a question. Why do you call this local style beef stew? Well, I think you actually may have answered the question before you asked it. In a local style beef stew, typically there's a lot more tomato product in here. So it gives it a little bit more sweeter flavor from the tomato and the sugar, mm -hmm. but it also gives it a little bit more acid, gives it some edges. Um, and classic or regular beef stew typically is a lot browner. And again, it just doesn't have as much tomato product in it. So local style, it means with more Tomato. It's more tomato, it's more red, more reddish orange. Oh, interesting. So we're gonna let the stew simmer for 15 minutes to let the vegetables cook through. And once that's done, it'll be time to eat. Ooh, can't wait. Ooh, beef stew over rice. That looks Ooh. really good, Keone. I wanna taste it. That's yours and this one's mine. Mmm, I think this is the best beef stew ever. For this recipe <laughs> and more, visit us at foodland.com. <laughs>